The first thing I like to check is the gain. This is the overall brightness of the image. On the screen here, we have a gain level of 49. To change the gain, just twiddle this button here, increasing will brighten the image and decreasing will do the opposite. Set the gain according to your own preferences and the light levels in the room that you're in. The time gain compensation sliders should be set so that you have an evenly gained image throughout the screen. At the top, it will change the image brightness closest to the probe and at the bottom, furthest away from the probe. The second thing I like to change is the depth. You have a centimetre scale at the side and the depth buttons are here. Try to make sure that the organ that you're interested in is taking up the majority of the screen. The frequency can be adjusted with these buttons here. The higher the frequency, the better the resolution of the picture, but the lower the penetration. Always try to use the highest frequency you can get away with for the level of penetration you need. If you go lower, the image quality is a bit poorer, but we would get further penetration if we were imaging deeper. If you go higher than the normal frequencies, you can go on to harmonic frequencies. This will give you a slightly different image. It's personal preference whether you like to keep it like this or go back down to your normal frequencies. The last thing is your focal position, labels here, and these buttons will change the position of your focal point. I always have my focal point level two or just deep to the organ of interest. Any of these other buttons can be changed. If you get lost at any point and you want to go back to your original settings, back into exam and select the preset you were in, everything will go back to how it was originally.